I'm uh, Valentina Pasisie. I'm the Director General of the Jordan River Foundation, a non-profit, uh, non-government organization in Jordan. Okay. Um, our first question is, what do you think is the best ways to create change in education, especially in developing countries? Well, in order to improve education, you need all the stakeholders to sit on one table and to give priority number one to education. Uh, involve everyone in the education, not just policymakers, but also um, teachers, students, and parents have to be part of the strategy that is uh, put uh, for the country. And a lot of investment should be uh, provided to uh, teachers um, and the infrastructure in schools to support children. And how do you think the teachers can be empowered in order to support the the student and to, to make a good deliverance to the students so that they can develop themselves in the process of learning? Well, um, I think um, that um, capacity building for teachers is important and not just in, um, in the course that they teach itself, not in only uh, science or uh, math. It should be on how to deliver uh, and engage with the students to make the education a stimulating uh, environment. So building their capacity in, uh, in running a classroom in an interactive way, uh, building their capacity in deciding how do they see the future of the children and building the course themselves accordingly and, and have a role in, in uh, building the curriculum because they themselves have been working with the children. They can understand uh, the different uh, ways that children can learn. And each child is different, so they can have more input and they are hands-on with the students more than individuals who are on uh, the policy level, so they have to be part of it. Once they feel that they are part of the reform in education, uh, they will have the buy-in, and plus you have to build their capacity and to provide them with the tools. And do you think um, empowering the students with technology could make a big change in the education process? Well, as uh, everyone has been saying, technology is a tool in the education. Uh, the student would be using technology all day long, so not having technology within the school, then you're um, getting the child to go to an area that he or she is not, doesn't feel comfortable with. So technology has to be included in the education system. Uh, to be, you know, wherever you look at a child, you would see something that he's or she's playing with, whether iPhone, iPad, computers, electro, um, games. So this is um, a must now in our younger generation is to have technology everywhere. So it, it must, it, uh, it should be integrated. Thank you.